Hey everyone, it's Peek. Welcome back to the channel today and welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video. So today you guys, I am going to be playing Charizard. I do not have my energy amplifier at 20 yet, unfortunately, but I will be running this build on it because uh, I still think energy amp is probably more useful for me than muscle band at this point on this character. Um, so I just hopped into a quick rank lobby. I want to really try and make Charizard work. Uh, I was not able to get jungle. This Green Ninja player uh, claimed it. So, you know, we're going to respect that and we're going to go lane with either. I don't know. We'll see. It's probably going to be Ninetales or Snorlax, I think. But I'm uh, really excited about this character. I think with the recent buffs to Flamethrower and Fire Blast, I think it's pretty viable. I'm going to try that build. Um, I've been kind of going like Fire Punch, um, Fire Blast, but I just feel like Flamethrower is going to give me more consistent burns, and that is kind of what boosts Charizard damage. So if you didn't know, um, Charizard gets increased damage when the target is burned. So his auto attacks do a lot more damage when the target is burned, so that's basically what you want to play for, essentially. So that's why you're not seeing me do a lot of damage to this Apom, but as soon as I burn them here, then you can see I'm doing a lot more damage to them. So that's that's kind of going to be the gist of playing um, Char uh, Charmander right now in the current state of the game. And I'm going to see if I can do some serious damage to this Ninetales. I think I'll be able to, but I will unfortunately have to flash out. Even though I probably could have stayed. It's just way too risky for me to stay there, unfortunately. Uh, I might be able to throw... Oh! Nice. Okay, we survived. <laughs> might be able to throw some abilities for my Snorlax. Um, again, like, I don't play this character very much, so I'm not, like, too sure on kind of, like, the limits if that... Oh, jeez. If that makes sense. Oh, I just got crit for 1.7k, so that's good. Uh, I think I just have to run, actually, because if he uses one more Pursuit reset on me, I'm pretty much just dead. So, unfortunately, I was hoping that maybe our Snorlax would kind of come back down here and we could take our Ardinos, which have now been taken by the enemy team. So, you know, this game is off to a uh, very rough start, unfortunately. So I'm going to throw a Fire Blast here. We'll see if we can do some damage to these people. Uh, the answer is yes, definitely. Nice. So that's good. You get a little bit of, little bit of damage there done. Uh, I believe Eldegoss gets that with her ability, but that's okay. What can you really expect? This hasn't been going too stellar so far anyway. <laughs> Okay, let's see if uh, maybe... Nope. Okay, I was hoping we could... He's going to get a Pursuit reset on me, so I'm pretty sure I'm dead here. Yeah. Uh, maybe not, actually. Nope. Yep, definitely dead because Eldegoss healing is painful. Um, but I might... No. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay, we're just losing. This is, uh, this is a rough game. Definitely a very rough game currently. So let's see if we can bring it back course this game's never lost i would uh i would just like to see us stop dying to this this guy is basically just spawn camping us at this point and there's nothing nothing really we can do uh except just sit here on my goal but okay this game is <laughs> this game's probably not going on youtube uh, unless we just pop off yeah there's no way okay <laughs> so uh, i'm just gonna play to farm at this point i uh i'm not sure how our Greninja has still only been level 7, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll do our best here. It's never lost till it's lost, you know? Greninja's level 7, so that's winnable. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to go Flamethrower. I think we should just give up on Dreadnought, though, because I know that Absol's just sitting down there. It's, uh, actually just up here, uh, which is a lot of experience for us. Nice. So we might be able to make something happen here. I slowed him with uh, my Fire Spin, so that's good. Nice, nice. Let's see if we can't see if we can't bring this one back. You know, it's always winnable. Always winnable in this game. Not really sure how I feel about flamethrower. I guess the cooldown's low, so that's nice. Don't really like how it feels so far, though. Nice, okay. I was afraid I was gonna get Exazard, so pretty sure my teammate's just dead there though. And they evolved to Cinderace. Oh man, this is this is rough. This is definitely rough. I'll just throw that out there. <laughs> yeah, this game is this game is super over. <laughs> and we're lagging too, so that kinda stinks. Alright, let's go Fire Blast. 
as a second ability. Um, I mean, the Dreadnought's not taken yet, so I will kind of come down here in hopes that maybe I provide some auxiliary damage for this. I really don't think I'm going to do much, though. You know what? My teammates actually already have that, so I'm going to leave them to it. And this will get me some XP, and of course, I really need these because I need to get Charizard ASAP. Okay, perfect. Speak of the devil himself. And for some reason, this lobby is super laggy as well. Unfortunate. All right, so the move here is to just play off this. We have a lot of people down here. They already took our our base with the Rotom. So at this point, like, oh yeah, this is a big move for me. This is a big one. That's a big one. So I'm gonna flash here. Just throw this guy. Nice. We will get x Scissor there. That hurts quite a lot. Um, my, this guy's burned though, so should be should be taking a lot of damage. But unfortunately, we're just not. Our focus band is not going to save us here. Oh well. <laughs> we tried our best. Already forty percent on our unite move. That's the nice thing about Charizard is that, uh, especially if you're running energy amp, you're getting that uh, unite move charge very quickly. You see, it's like it's like almost a little bit under every one second, which is pretty crazy actually. Let's see if we can throw a fire blast out here. Get some, and not get hit by this x -Scissor. That's gonna be the big thing. And of course, that guy's score shield, so he's still gonna, still gonna do that. I'm gonna throw a slow for this guy here. Uh, okay, we're doing some damage here. And he's burned now, so uh, I don't have my ult yet, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna try and still pick up this Crustle, which I'm not gonna be able to. Because, of course, that's a, that's a 1v3. <laughs> you can't really do much about that. And I'm still pretty low level, unfortunately. But we have kind of caught up by getting some kills here and there. It's, uh, let's grab these buffs in the middle. I do believe that's that's kind of going to be the move for now. And then we're going to go... We're going to go Dreadnought and just hope that it works out. <laughs> that's, uh, that's all we can do right now. Let's see what we can make happen right now. We are applying a lot of burn, so not able to clear these camps as quickly as I would like to. But yeah, I'm going to come down here. I have my Unite move. I have double buffs. This should be really good. I know they've just used everything. Oh, and I was actually going to wait until... Okay, so now we're basically just waiting until their Unite moves have run out. Uh, I'm going to throw that there. So basically, that means Ninetales is blocked off and can't get towards this person. And again, I'm saving my Unite move because... I know that they still have their abilities. So Greninja's using its Unite move. Great, that's a really nice catch there. I'm gonna score my 28. So give me some points and we just go for the objective. So I don't actually have to use my Unite move there. Um, we are kind of losing top side with the Rotom, but should be doing quite a lot of damage now that this is burned. Yep, we're just kind of shredding this thing. Perfect. Okay, so let's see, what, let's see what's happening here. I'm actually going to go in on this, because this should be a lot of damage. Uh, let's pick up this Absol as well. I'm going to pick you up, Fire Spin you. Basically just make it so he can't walk away with that. Uh, they're getting a lot of shields from Eldegoss though, so I think we're not going to really be able to do anything here. Uh, JK, apparently Fire Blast, Flamethrower is doing a lot. Uh, but those shields are not going to let me <laughs> get the kill of the Alola Ninetales plus under Auroraville. I mean, I really can't do anything as Charizard there. Like, you're pretty much just stuck there, obviously. You gotta be in basically melee range. Not quite melee range, you know, because when you're Charizard, um, your auto attacks actually increase in range by just a little bit. But obviously, that's not gonna work out. I see the Eldegoss is here in the middle because we see her abilities. It's a little trick. You can look around the map and see ground targeted abilities. Um, so we're still in this one. It's been rough, of course, uh, and we're behind, but we are still definitely in this right now. And what I want to do is just get this buff, because red buff on Charizard is totally broken. And let's see what's happening up here. If our Greninja dies, that's going to be really bad. Fortunately, he does. Uh, I don't have my Unite move yet, so I really need to play safe, because I'll have it super soon, and I really don't want, uh, don't want that to... I want that to happen here. I'm going to recall because I know they're not starting it yet. Uh, is, I wonder if he's going to jump up there. Oh, I think she just got that. Oh, no, she didn't. Nice. Okay. That's really good. Okay. Not a problem. So, it's about half right now. Oh, you're right here. Hello. Oh, probably shouldn't recall there when you know we're over on the other side. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, here's the thing. We kind of need this right now. So, it's just a Hail Mary at this point. Let's just go for it. I will ult this. Uh, except the Crustle isn't near, so I will not ult it. And instead, here's what you're going to see me do. I'm going to use my ult for mobility, and I'm flying away. Goodbye. <laughs> so, I'm just going right to this goal right here. So, I can basically expose the home goal for my team. And that makes it so they can just walk to the front. Uh, and I do draw the attention of two people up here, which is super good. Uh, her... I think I should win this fight. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, barely though. Okay. I'm actually gonna back, uh, because there's still 25 seconds left. Leave me alone, please. Ah, rip. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I don't get there in time. But I think we're still okay. Oh, they just surrendered. Okay, well... Woof. Okay. Um... You know, this is probably, like, my third Charizard game ever played, but, uh... Yeah, I think I think I think we performed decently actually at the end there. I uh <laughs> I was actually debating is this one going to go up on YouTube or not, but thankfully we clutch it out. Of course, uh my teammates were putting in work. Shout out to Cinderace. I'm not actually going to upvote all these people. Uh they did a great job, especially given how our team comp was really kind of stacked on the damage side, didn't have as much CC. I think that was our big issue at the beginning cuz like Basically, one, two, three, four people just get insta shredded from the Absol, who, of course, has very strong early game, which is why I just kept dying. And uh, there were a few deaths that I could have even avoided, but I basically just kept feeding there in the bottom lane, um, which, you know, totally my bad. But we were able to bring it back, able to secure a Dreadnought, and, you know, we win the ranked match. So uh, let's see how many points we get. Probably none. Uh, plus 11, not bad. We're almost back up to 1200 where you start. Uh, and you know, that was, a, that was an okay match. So, uh, you know, I'm kind of wanting to play more Charizard here and I think it is a lot stronger with the, with the recent buff. And I actually really liked that build. I felt like flamethrower was doing a ton of damage and just the increased range that, you know, I was able to like, for example, up there, uh, pick off that alone nine Ninetales who was low health with flamethrower, pick off the Cinderace in the fight and the bottom lane. Uh, where we just took Dreadnought. I think that was really good. Uh, I was actually genuinely surprised by how much damage Flamethrower was doing. So I think I'm going to start going that instead of Fire Punch for sure. It just seems like more damage is more important on this character. And I really like how Fire Blast can just like slow an entire group of enemies. Um, if you aim it correctly, of course, I'm still getting used to like where, where should I put it, trying to predict the enemy's movement. That's kind of the thing with those types of moves that you got to know. But uh, all in all, I really like Charizard, so definitely going to play it some more, I think. Uh, probably even play it on stream today. If uh, you're seeing this video, come check me out. I'll be alive. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to do it for today's video. hope you guys enjoyed the little Charizard match. Uh, should be some more of these in the future, but uh, always always Greninja gang for now, you know. But uh, here and there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to weave in the occasional Charizard match because uh, it's, it's actually really fun, even though the beginning of that game was rough. Um, so yeah, anyways, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you guys are new. Got a daily Pokemon Unite video on the channel every single day. That's <laughs> that's redundant. I just said daily. Uh, and yeah, join the Discord. Lots of lovely people there. Follow me on Twitter. It's the best place to get update on Unite, on uh, me, and just Twitch streams, anything basically regarding Pokemon Unite. I can be your one-stop shop. So uh, definitely, definitely consider following me there. And until next time, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.